Bitcoin white paper has been hidden in the Mac OS since 2018. Nobody knows why. I want to show you something on XRP's day chart that if you hold XRP, you are going to want to know about this. Epic Cash has a significant price jump. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Crypto Housewife channel and tomorrow, Good Friday, the stock market will be closed and reopening on Monday. Today, however, it's kind of a mixed bag, red and green for the S&P 500, but really not even a half a percentage down. As for the cryptocurrency heat map, lots of green on the screen, bit of red. Bitcoin is holding steady. Ethereum's down about one and a third percent, but Ethereum climbed up really good yesterday and I had a video about that. As for Bitcoin's chart, we're holding up there. It did go below the nine day moving average, which makes me a little nervous, but it still stayed above the 21. And we're all wondering, are we going to break through that $30,000 mark this weekend, this Easter weekend? Could it happen? Maybe, maybe we're all watching for it. As I mentioned before, we are looking good. Stair stepping up, stair stepping up. That's always a nice thing. And volumes, though, however, are red, but obviously we're uh, we're lower than what we opened. Things are looking good. Michael Saylor went shopping and bought a ton of Bitcoin. What does that tell you? He's feeling bullish. And we'll just see how this weekend plays out. New mystery in crypto. This has everybody talking. And it all starts with a tweet. Wu Blockchain tweeted out. Tech blogger Andy Bayo discovered that the Bitcoin white paper can be found on any Mac running the latest version of Mac OS. A post in the Apple community in 2021 asked about this issue and Apple has yet to respond to the matter. Interesting stuff here, folks. Apple Insider, Bitcoin white paper found hidden in Mac OS with unknown virtual scanner to app. Apparently, if you have this, you can literally dig in there. There's a way to do it and find the Bitcoin white paper. The minute I told that to my friends, first question is, when did Steve Jobs pass away? Hmm, could he be? Who do you think Satoshi Nakamoto is? You know who I think it is? Who I want it to be? The late, great John McAfee. Okay, okay. <laughs> Write in the comments who you think Satoshi is. Is it a group? Is it one person? Are they dead or alive? I want to know. XRP's day chart is looking very interesting to me. Last night I put out a video. Maybe you want to check it out. It will be up here. And what I did was I drew in a few lines, which you should know about because XRP's day chart is forming a pennant pattern. Now, pennants kind of neat because what usually happens is that they will either break above this resistance line here or down and usually it's an explosive move to the up or to the down so basically the highs are going lower but the lows are going higher so we're creating like the perfect storm and we're all waiting to see what's going to happen but one thing that i did not mention was this right down here what do you see here can i blow this up come on what do you see what is this called well the blue line is a 50-day moving average and the gold line is a 200 and as you can see, the blue moving average, the 50, moved up across 200 day moving average. And we call that a golden cross. A golden cross is a good thing. Now, there's also the death cross, which happens when the opposite happens. A golden cross on XRP's chart. Interesting stuff, folks. It's the first time it happened this year. As some of you know, I've started to follow Epic Cash. I do not hold any. I am, however, interested in watching how this one develops. There's things I like about it. The max supply is the same as Bitcoin's. It's trading today at $1.46, up almost 20%. Volumes are on the lowest side, only $10,000 in the past 24 hours, but I've seen that number higher. And market cap is at 23 million. And yeah, so we're at 145. It, it did dip down to like $1.20. Epic's day chart is looking good. And you can check out my playlist and also check out my latest video on it. And I welcome the Epic community into my channel. I'm not sponsored. I just happen to love crypto. And yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. 